In this video, I do a first set of scientific tests on the Withing ScanWatch Horizon. First, I test the quality of the sleep tracking against an EEG monitor. Second, I'll check the heart rate accuracy while doing sports and while sleeping. And finally, I'll take a brief look at the oxygen saturation. As always, I do not want to waste your time, so timestamps are in the description below and also on the timeline. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist specializing in biological data analysis. In this video, I'll take a first look at the Withing ScanWatch Horizon, which is the latest version of the ScanWatch. I've already made several videos on the standard ScanWatch and I was excited to see that a new version was made that looks even more beautiful. The new ScanWatch Horizon is very similar to the normal ScanWatch in terms of functionalities. Both can measure electrocardiograms or ECG, which also includes AFib detection. They track basic sleep stages and breathing disturbances, which is a possible indication of sleep apnea. In addition, they also measure your blood oxygen saturation and heart rate. In my opinion, the original ScanWatch was already a very beautiful watch. However, the ScanWatch Horizon looks even better. The casing is made from titanium and looks similar to some of the iconic divers watches like the Rolex Submariner. It is both an analog watch with bold glow in the dark hands and has a small digital screen up top to control it. An interesting detail is that the hands of the watch move out of the way if you're using this screen. A difference with the original ScanWatch is that the ScanWatch Horizon is now waterproof up to 10 atmospheres compared to the original's 5 atmospheres. The ScanWatch Horizon comes with both a metallic band and a synthetic rubber sports band. I was really excited to get the ScanWatch Horizon this week, so I wanted to make a first video about it with some tests and I'll make a more comprehensive video in a few weeks. I expect similar Similar results to those of the original scan watch, however the shape and weight of the new watch could have an influence on its performance. I want to start this video by looking at the sleep tracking of the Withing ScanWatch Horizon. For the sleep comparison, I wore the ScanWatch Horizon to bed for two nights and at the same time I also wore this EEG device called the Dream 2 headband and finally I recorded myself using an infrared camera. The EEG device can actually measure your brain waves and is therefore ideal for measuring your sleep stages and a scientific paper showed that the Dream 2 headband is good at tracking your sleep stages. Now the sleep tracking of the ScanWatch lacks REM sleep tracking and it only tracks deep sleep, light sleep and awake time. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the results. An overview of the results is displayed here. On top we have the sleep stage according to the EEG device and on the left the sleep tracking according to the scan watch. Now each column here sums to 100% meaning that we can see what percentage of each of the actual sleep stages was recorded as each sleep stage by the scan watch horizon. I'll highlight all the stages that are correctly predicted in green as I'm explaining the results. First of all, we see that over 70% of what was deep sleep was also detected as deep sleep by the ScanWatch Horizon. The rest of it was about equally split between light sleep and awake time. It's a bit weird that some of the deep sleep was marked as awake time by the ScanWatch, since these stages are very different. We can also look at the individual nights to see some more detail. Here we see the first night, where I only had one deep sleep segment marked here in purple. On top you see the sleep stages as they were recorded using the EEG device, along the horizontal axis we have the time of night, and on the vertical axis we have the different sleep stages, that being deep sleep, light sleep, REM sleep and awake. On the bottom you can see a similar plot, but now for the sleep stages as they were recorded by the ScanWatch Horizon. Here we can see how awake time and deep sleep were confused. It was mostly because the ScanWatch detected me as falling asleep a bit too late, which meant that it saw part of my deep sleep as awake time, but this was awake time before I'd even fallen asleep according to the scan watch, even though I was already asleep and had some deep sleep. For this second night right here, we do not see this issue. However, we do see that the scan watch predicts a lot of extra deep sleep that was not really there, as you can see right here. Next, looking at light sleep, we see that just over 50% of what was light sleep was also predicted as being light sleep. However, a lot of light sleep was actually predicted as being deep sleep by the scan watch, which matches what we saw for the individual nights. Now the ScanWatch does not track REM sleep, however what was REM sleep was actually predicted as a combination of deep sleep and light sleep. Finally, awake detection was okay with about two thirds of my awake time correctly detected. If it was confused, it was mostly confused with light sleep and this is good since light sleep is the closest sleep stage to actually being awake. Looking at the individual nights, we can see that indeed most awake moments are detected as I marked here in green. However, as we saw before, the ScanWatch did detect me falling asleep too late for this night. For the second night, we indeed see that the longer awake moment is detected, but the shorter ones are missed. The sleep tracking of the ScanWatch Horizon is really basic and mostly appears to be good at detecting my awake moments. It detected me falling asleep too late for one of the nights, but I need more data to draw better conclusions about this. The more detailed sleep staging appears to be somewhat less informative. However, it's difficult to draw definitive conclusions since the ScanWatch does not track REM sleep. Next, let's take a look at the heart rate accuracy. 
I tested the heart rate accuracy during different types of exercise and while I was sleeping. I'll compare the scan watch Horizon to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, which is generally considered one of the most accurate consumer devices available for heart rate measurements. In an interview with the designers at Scanwatch, they actually told me that they used the Polar chest strap to test their heart rate accuracy themselves. Let's start off with the accuracy during spinning. Here I displayed an overview of the heart rate accuracy during a total of two spinning sessions. Each dot here is a single heart rate measurement with along the horizontal axis the value according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap and on the vertical axis the value according to the ScanWatch Horizon. The blue line indicates perfect agreement and the more measurements there are in a certain area the darker black their color. As you can see, the ScanWatch Horizon mostly agrees well with the chest strap. However, there are still some points below the blue line and even some points close to the red line. Now the red line indicates half of the actual heart rate, which is what some watches detect when they make a mistake in the heart rate. Let's take a look at some of the individual spinning sessions to see when it makes its mistakes. That is what is displayed here. Along the horizontal axis, we have the clock time and my heart rate is along the vertical axis. In blue, I plotted my heart rate according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. And in red is my heart rate according to the ScanWatch Horizon. The two lines overlap quite well, indicating that the ScanWatch did a good job. We see mostly the same thing for this second spinning session. Though the ScanWatch Horizon does show some instability when my heart rate was at its highest, as you can see here in these moments. Next, let's take a look at the accuracy during biking. Many devices I've tested really struggle with this, as it involves much more shaking of the arm. Here we see an overview of the accuracy during four bike rides, and as you can see there are many more points away from the blue line. There's especially many points below the blue line, which indicates that the ScanWatch detected a too low heart rate. We can also see this if you look at the individual bike rides. Sometimes the ScanWatch follows along well with the ECG chest strap, however sometimes it detects a much lower heart rate, as we can see for instance here but also here. This second bike ride is somewhat better, though it still shows some issues, for instance right here and right here. The third bike ride is again more similar to the first, with some moments where I did well, but some moments where I did not pick up on the peak in my heart rate, for instance here but also here. And we see the same thing for this final bike ride right here, with only mediocre agreement. Next, let's take a look at a weightlifting session. Now weightlifting is one of the hardest things for a watch to accurately track, since there's so much tension on my arm and on my wrist. Here I plotted that training session, and as you can see, the ScanWatch has trouble picking up on my peaks in heart rate. That's what we see for many devices. They're not able to pick up on that fast increase in my heart rate because there's so much tension on my arms. Finally, let's take a look at the heart rate accuracy while I was sleeping. I tested that during three nights. Here we see the first night with the scan watch in red and the polar chest strap in blue. As you can see overall there's a pretty good agreement between both devices. Do note that the scan watch only takes a measurement every 10 minutes. We see the same thing for this second night. The overall agreement between both devices is pretty good. The third night right here shows more or less the same thing with a pretty good agreement. Overall, the scan watch appears to be at its best in heart rate tracking when I'm not moving too much, specifically during sleep and while exercising on my home trainer. It appears to have more issues while cycling and while weightlifting. Next, let's take a quick look at oxygen saturation. In really simple terms, your oxygen saturation or SpO2 is the percentage of red blood cells in the bloodstream that contain oxygen. Normal ranges are generally between 95 and 100% and these are the values you should normally get at ground level. To test that, over the last few days I took a total of 17 measurements of my SpO2 levels with both the ScanWatch Horizon and a dedicated SpO2 monitor in the morning and in the evening. The results are displayed here. On the left are the values measured by the ScanWatch Horizon and on the right the values measured with the dedicated finger pulse oximeter. As you can see, the ScanWatch generally measured SpO2 values roughly in the same range as the finger pulse oximeter, which is pretty good. There were no moments where I detected an unrealistically low SpO2 value. And I'm quite happy about this. All in all, this is not bad. In previous videos I tested the SpO2 accuracy of different watches in a low oxygen environment, which is a test I'd also like to do for the ScanWatch Horizon in the future. Overall, the ScanWatch Horizon seems to perform well enough for basic sleep tracking. It can roughly track your total time of sleep and is accurate at tracking your heart rate when you do not move too much. The SpO2 values also seem to fall within a reasonable range. What it is less good at is the more detailed tracking, like tracking sleep stages or heart rate tracking when there's more movement or tension on the arm. So should you buy the Withing ScanWatch Horizon? Well, that depends. In my opinion, the ScanWatch Horizon is the most beautiful smartwatch I own. It does not look like a smartwatch and is therefore very low key. If you do not care about the detailed health tracking for sleep and exercise, but just want the basic metrics, it might be a good option. Also, if your job requires you to be formally dressed, it might be the watch for you. However, if you want detailed sleep tracking and heart rate tracking during exercise with more movement, you might be better off with a different device.
If you're just interested in tracking your heart rate during exercise, I'd recommend a chest strap like the Polar H10 to get the most reliable results. If you're an iPhone user and want the most accurate heart rate tracking from a watch, then I'd recommend getting an Apple Watch. If you want the best sleep tracking from a watch, get a Fitbit device like the Fitbit Lux, Fitbit Charge 5 or Fitbit Inspire 2. The Withing Sleep Analyzer which you put under your mattress also performs reasonably well. The Whoop Strap has decent heart rate tracking and good sleep tracking. However, the current version 4.0 still needs some software updates and it's a subscription service, so significantly more expensive in the long term. If you want more content like this, consider subscribing. Also, if you click the like button and comment, it will make it easier for other people to find this video. Finally, you might also be interested in some of my other videos. For instance, one of my videos on the original scam watch. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.